The healthcare sector saw some changes in 2018 from mergers to treatments to policy. We're joined now by Dr. Amit Full, who's the Vice President of Strategy and Insights at Doximity. Nice to have you here, Doctor. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Sue. Nice you, to meet you. You say one of the number one defining moments in healthcare was the awarding of the Nobel Prize, and it had to do basically with immunotherapy. Why was that such a watershed event? So, I mean, it's been many years in the making, but this uh, new treatment modality actually has the capability of transforming how we treat many of the deadliest diseases that currently afflict our society. Uh, I believe we're right at the tip of the iceberg, frankly, in terms of what may come out of what is now recognized as a Nobel Prize winning a bit of research. Does it also kind of green light those companies that maybe wanted to go into that particular area and they now see it perhaps as more lucrative or certainly more, more hopeful? Absolutely. I, mean, I think we're right at the beginning, frankly, to see how this actually plays itself out in the pharmaceutical industry. And the life sciences industry will have a lot of movement in this space moving forward. And as this kind of therapy mod modality begins to be proven out over time, I imagine that that activity will just increase. I also was fascinated, and I think you mentioned this as well, um, big tech really made some inroads in various different ways into the healthcare sector. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you look at Apple, Google, and Amazon as some of the, the main representatives of big tech, Apple actually had an FDA approval for a device that can monitor heart rate and actually be utilized in uh, healthcare in pretty close to real time. Google, of course, will touch on has made some interesting moves with regards to artificial intelligence and being able to scan folks' retinas. And Amazon has made some interesting acquisitions, particularly with PillPack being added to the Amazon family. And much the way that Amazon Prime has changed the way a lot of us interact with shipping and products being sent to us, in the very near future, leveraging Amazon's platform and delivery network, we might have a very different relationship with prescription medication. I think there's going to be a lot of changes. Thirdly, you list artificial intelligence as one major factor. Google comes to mind with a retinal scan, but what else were you, were you watching this year? So if you, I mean, if you think about immunotherapy on the curative or treatment end, artificial intelligence, specifically some of the work that Google is doing with retinal scans, actually will make some headway in the preventive end of the spectrum. They've begun to perfect technology now that can actually augment or empower physicians to more accurately diagnose diseases like diabetic retinopathy and fairly accurately predict cardiovascular disease risk. Um, enhancements on this technology in the near future will make a profound impact, I think, in preventative medicine. All right, and we're going to also watch Berkshire Hathaway, J.P. Morgan, and Amazon getting together. Who Absolutely. knows what that will bring. Dr. Ahmed Full, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.